opening stages of the day and um, clearly there's been a lot of commitment from the drivers but have a look at the sort of commitment these spectators are putting in. The road's nearly blocked out here and there's lots and lots of spectators, plenty of commitment to get to actually see the cars. Just an uphill hairpin, got a bit sideways and naturally coming from four wheel drive I thought I'll oh, we'll just keep it pinned and it'll come out but no, just keep going around. Hayden's got the edge on us so we'll see what happens the second time through. I'm sure he's got a little bit of knowledge of these stages but I think the first two don't make a big difference so we'll, uh, we'll keep pushing on. Car's going well, tyres are working so we're happy. Do tyres come into it with these road conditions? Yeah for sure, I mean if you don't have the right compound on the right tyre then you either destroy the tyre or you don't have the level of grip so D-Max are working well and uh, we'll keep pushing on this afternoon. Plenty of drama this morning in the first four stages. Derek Asim with a blown engine just nine kilometres into the first stage. Marcus Van Klink, he's been suffering brake issues but he's still one of the front runners. And we've got John Spencer with missing engine and now he's stopped in stage four on the side of the road. We're not sure, we think it's alternator problems. But at the front of the field, we've got Hayden Patton and Alistair McRae fighting it out. A 41 second gap there. But get this, Hayden has a 19 second lead overall in the whole rally. <laughs> 